Hey, it's going down again. Hood Hierarchy Podcast. It's your boy, Uncle Beats, and the streets like white lines on the corner like a stop sign. Chill. Who I got with me today on the mob cast? You got your boy, Snap G. Just a sucker ducker, you dig? <laughs> hey, if you want us to be all right, hit like. If you want us to survive, hit that subscribe. If you really care, hit that share. Share that thing, man. Wipe your feet before you come in the door, too, man. Wipe your feet. Press the like. You know? We man, how, you, how you feeling today, bro? Man, it's a Saturday, you know? Uh, ripping and running, as usual. We really... uh. We really had a wonderful show yesterday, man. I had a, I I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoy them all, but I enjoyed it yesterday. This gonna uh, be a fun one. I got um, yeah, I enjoyed it too. I got Young Rick in the building. He just sitting chilling. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he chilling. <laughs> Bo- bottle popping, you know. Yeah, um, I already know. Uh, know. You know, we we raised a lot of. You came with a question yesterday. <coughs> they got a lot of, a lot of debating going on. When you said, uh... <laughs> "I'm sorry, y'all." Me and his sister. <laughs> you raised the question uh, yesterday, right? And you said who was getting the most money um, in the area, in the neighborhood. Right. Right. So I done had all type of people calling me about that. But I got another question. I got a, I got another question. <clears throat> something else you said. It was something about you said doing what for a 40-year-old guy? Did you say it? You said when do they uh, quit? What did you say? You said something about giving a 40-year-old something. Like, who's still doing that? Uh, I, I, You know what, man? I don't even remember. But I, I had to go back and look at it. I ain't going to cap No, no, no. Talking. I'm talking about... you. I'm, I'm not talking about yesterday. I'm talking about today. You told me somebody was talking about giving somebody this 40-something. Like, you was like, what's the future in that? Well, anyway, man, because I still don't remember. How the hell you don't remember what we just talked about two seconds ago? I know, man. That's crazy. You but said, sense, why is niggas front said, niggas that's 40 years old? How are they going to make... When when do you stop? You don't remember that? You can't remember that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but whatever I said made sense. So no, you know I'm, I'm just saying. saying. We was just talking about that... Uh, Earlier today, when you was like, uh, right. niggas front niggas that's 40 years old, you, you were saying you don't think that's a good idea, and I'm just trying to see for what reason. Man, well, I mean, what okay, what I what what and put it in what context, like what I what what did I mean when I said I'm gonna just ask you your own question. How about All that? All right, ask you my own question. You said, okay, this was your exact words. You said, why is this Negro? Funning somebody something, and they're forty years old. The person who we fronted to. Yeah, you, you said you right. didn't, you didn't appreciate, you didn't think that was a good idea, and I just want to know why. No, it's not a good idea because uh, it just depends on what type of individual you got there. Because either way it go, you a damn fool. See what I'm saying? Just for being forty. And being run around on the streets trying to get some get trying to get some stuff off. You know what I'm talking about? So I All just right. think the old man put it best when when he put the retirement at 36. 36. The old man put it at best when he put the retirement at 36. 
Once you turn 36, you're able to hang it all up. Yeah, Not 40, 49, 50, 55. 36, you are outstanding member. Anything under 36 are all active members. Well, no, what I'm saying is, why would you have to hang it up just because you are 40 years old or over 36? You know, some people. Well, I mean, life I values and life change. Like, okay, you 40 years old. Right. No, you 20 years old. You get caught for doing something crazy. And right. they talking about hitting you with a dub. So you like, yeah. dang, you probably ain't going to get out. If it's 50-50, you ain't going to get out for 10 years. So you'll be 30. Right. But if you 40 years old and give you that dub, do the math, man. Do the math. Can't nobody 40 take them many to take that much time. To <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Do the math so it's time to, you know what I'm saying? At that time in your life, man, man, you got to just go, on, you know, just play the triple OG mode, man. You know, so so you are, you don't um you're not saying that they probably don't know what they're doing if they still get front and son at forty. You're right. saying the dangers of it is terrible more than anything. Getting caught. Listen, that too, what you just said, they don't know what they're doing. Cause if you're forty years old and you still trying to be fronted. You got to, uh, I mean, I know it's a lot of, you know, a lot of people out there and all, and, and we, we really don't know people's situations, right. but you just got to think about it though. You know what I'm saying? All these years, cause bro, I gave it up. I ain't got the energy for it no more. For real. Man, you so, got to have some energy. And, and for one, It's going to come a time when you're going to have to protect what's yours. Yeah. It ain't going to always be peaches and cream. Like you just getting this money and, 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 and you going shopping and taking trips. and No, it's not going to be like that. Because you're always going to have competition. You're always going to have somebody say, man, we got to move. Hey, hey, dude, getting a little too, man. We, we, man, we got to move dude around, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me see these comments. Whether they pull it or not, you're gonna have people back talking like that. <laughs> Laugh in your right. face, though. Laugh in your face, you know. But let me, it's a, let me it's see a these. dirty game, and it's you know, it's, this ain't the mafia. Let me where, see you these know, comments. You have 70, for 80 year old pulling hits. For I, I elaborate on it, we're gonna get right back to I may let you pick back up. Hold on. Philly Blunt said, What's up to you? What else? What's crackling? Sure, buddy. Say game banger mind frame. Stop now. Right. If you live in that live in that life, you ain't never too old. My boy Trey Boogie checking in from Cali too. My, all my Cali homies on here, huh? Okay. Hey, hey. I'm gonna tell you though. I just said once you reach that stage, you got to go on the triple OG status, man. Double OG status. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, I mean, because for real, for real, I was always taught being a real gangster is a businessman. What kind of businessman? I mean, just a businessman. like Aggressive, right? <laughs> just being a gangster is a businessman. You know? Man, I ain't gonna you got to take man. it out the streets. You know? I, 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 I ain't going to lie. I done seen some people really survive off of flipping sevens of coke, man. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, but look at the ratio, though. Feel what I'm saying? The odds. Uh, I'm just saying, I done seen dudes work a job, and they still be selling coke. And they be having their little seven, and they go buy another seven. I just be like, Wow. Like it's still people, uh, and, and yeah, they be yeah. I mean, it's over still 40. Work, but you know what I'm saying. 
I ain't got that type of oh man, I ain't hey, do what you do, man. Do what you do. Well well definitely uh definitely uh definitely is man. I, I just be like I said, it ain't for me to judge, but I just be like, man, he's still hustling. And I just be like, wow, like, is this some money in that? But they not be asking me for no money. So hey, I'm gonna tell you this. I also think like people like with jobs that gotta get up and go to work. Right. If you're gonna get up and go to work for the rest of your life, you're not winning. Having a job only keeps you in the game. Right. The only way you're gonna win is if you have employees. See what I'm saying? You're trying to get to where that top person at, at your company, you're trying to get to where that person is. Feel what I'm saying? Uh, Other than that, you're going to keep working for them for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> They're just going to keep you in the game. You're not going to win that way. And, and and that's real talk. For real, for real. Um, But my mama, my mama was a school working in schools at the school to the day she died. Well, now she retired. I'm lying. She retired. But she was in education for a long time. And it looked like it worked out fine for her, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, just think if she would have um, started her own school, yeah. like, feel what I'm saying? And then had chains of them around America. But uh, uh, for real, though, I don't even think she had that plan because because she enjoyed the time when she was off of work going gambling or whatever it was she liked to do. So it's like she didn't even want to, she wouldn't even put in that type of time to have a school. It was, you know, she would clock in, clock out. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, I guess it was just a, a passion in the, in the job. But... The Let's look at the uh let's look at the comments because I see people checking in with us. Let's see, I went too far. Trey Boogie said facts. Big facts. Big up facts. If we have, up, 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 seven ain't none. Ooh. All right, I got my boy Bodine. Remember the dude I was telling you uh this on that got they got the stones in the dough, yeah. the moles in the dough, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, I gotta bring you on, Bodine, real soon. Yes, sir. Uh, Trey Boogie say that was him back in the day, selling a little coke and uh, working. <laughs> Drew hey, down, man. Drew down. Say what up? Hey. Now Philly Blunt just said something. He said. Retirement packages be real nice. You need a career, not a job. Right. But hold on, let me see. Let me see. We got more. Hold on. Man. But you know, you gotta also think about the people who skip from job to job, don't get 401k or none of that. Right. They're just skipping job to job to job to job to job. And that's just the average street, you know what I mean? Right, like sure body say, real gangsta ain't running from, from the law to get a bag. Well, see. Yes, sir. This is this is the thing that I feel. Now, just because I said my mama did that, that doesn't mean I agree with that idea of uh, working for people. But I'm just saying, I've seen people work and it worked for him. Now, like he said, like he said, uh, working, working that work, get a career. But what was that like? Ninety nine. I had a real good job working with my um, working with my daddy. I don't know if you remember that. That was like right before you went in. No, I was already in in ninety nine. What you talking about? I, it was like ninety nine, like. I, 
I didn't get out till 2000. I think I was, yeah, I was working at it like 2002, though. I was, back then, I was a young cat. I'm trying to remember. I was making a lot of money, but I was working at a, um, a engine plant for international um, trucking. I was working at the engine plant in Melrose Park. Now, when they fired me for stealing, how do you steal an engine? I still don't wow. know that. <laughs> was it on, was, hey, was no. it over your day off, bro? No, no, when they fired me for stealing, and stealing time and stealing engines and all type of stuff. Damn. Now, we had a real good union, and I could have had them fight for the job, right? But honestly, I'm like, here I am trying to do right, and they gonna fire me? And I was like, man, I'm never finna be in this position again where I can be fired because I didn't even do nothing. And like, what if I would have, it's like God know what he'd be doing because at the time I had just got like that new intrepid and Bam Bam was trying to get me to, because I was, I, it was good for me at this time at that job. Bam Bam was trying to get me to like get the new Escalade because like, they dropped like the 2002 Escalade in 2000 for some reason. And I just bagged out of it. And he's like, man, you tripping, man. You made, you got the job. I'm like, man, no, I just don't want to be tied into stuff. So when they fight, when, I, when, when, when the union is fighting for me to get the job back, I'm getting unemployment, though. So my unemployment check is probably like, I don't know back then. I think it was like a thousand dollars uh every two weeks. So I'm like, like, man, I was pulling in like fifteen hundred a week when I was going in there working like a dog, working all day, boom, boom, boom. I say, man, I'm gonna get this thousand dollars, this five hundred dollars a week. What can I do with that? So I took that. And I just said, man, I ain't turning back. I'm like, I'm finna just be out here for myself. And that's when I really, because even though when you was out, I was taking it serious. <coughs> and I wasn't taking it serious I, I after remember, I left I remember, that job. I remember you had that job. Yeah. I, I even had it when you went in. I had it when you went in. Because that was about like 2002 when I, um, and man, I just never turned back, man. I went and bought me a, um, some studio equipment, and I had my last little, I don't know, I had about $7,500, right? And I told uh, I told my youngest, uh, I mean, my oldest daughter, I just told her mama, like, hey, man, I'm not finna be in the street no more. <clears throat> I ain't got that job no more. I'm finna be in the music business. And she said, yeah, well, let me break up with you now. <laughs> <laughs> and, she oh, on, and she went on and broke up with me. Hold on, let me let me see these comments because they they coming in. I don't want y'all to think we neglecting y'all. Hold on. Drew, Drew down say late, but yeah. <laughs> Trey Boogie say I had a real good career, but I was hustling. The career kept me out of the law sight. Hold on. I don't know why I can't see that. I'm trying to see. Y'all work with me. Hey, no matter where you go or what you do in life, you hustled your whole oh, life. Hold on. Even me, when you go, even when you hold try, on, snap. even let me when read you this doing comment. something straight, you're let still me, Let me read this comment, Snap. I see the word child support. I want to see what he say. Child support coming out of my check made me leave my career. Shaking my head. I can't lie. I went to hustling full time and was able to do more for my seeds. And I was young then, though. Young is back to what you were saying. Young is important. People don't realize that. But what you were saying, bro? Oh, well, trying to know what he was saying. Uh, young is important because when you're young, your brain don't develop until you're like 26. Right. So anything under 26, you doing whatever. Right. You doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. You putting energy into it. Just say you're 26 
Oh, right. uh, uh, no, nah, 24 and 44. That's two right. different feelings. Yeah. That's two different feelings. So, yeah, when you're young, you're willing to get out there and run from the police. You're willing to stand in the middle of the, you know what I'm talking about, the heat. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when, you're 40, when you're 44, you just want, you are probably playing from the background. You know how the movies is, dude pull up in the car, the back window let down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tenny windows, the back window let down, all the little street dudes crowd around the car. You don't see who in the car. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he just hand that pack out that car. Woo! <laughs> let the window up and slide off. Yeah. Right. It's a difference, man. Yeah, I, uh, it, to to me though, I just feel like people get the <clears throat> the working for yourself. I think it's I think they overrate they underrate it because they don't realize how hard it is to work for yourself and uh, um, yeah. skill to be a hustler, whatever it is. You know, it's like sometimes I be hundred thousand up. Then sometimes I'd be 5,000 in the hole. You know what I mean? So it's like you got to really know how to take your bread and, and spend it the right way, save it the right way. And it's like if you don't have that in you, you need to be working at somebody's company because it, 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 take, yeah. it takes a lot to take. Man, there'd be times I might have – I'm going to give a real example. I had like 90 grand, right? So everybody's around me that I'm dealing with, they know we're going to have enjoy ourselves, hit the lottery. I'm like, no, because I'm going to take about a good 75 of that and dump it back into what got me the 90 grand. Right. So that means... I ain't um we can't party like we like we the shopping spree ain't finna be what it is. But it's like grand ain't enough to party off of nowhere, especially if you got a plan. If you got a plan, right. 90 grand is only a foot a footstep to get you in there. Uh you can you can run with Delhi Dell for about a month with 90 grand though and do a little party and that's about it. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> like no nah, man, so it's like people sit here and think that I'm just sitting on this big endless pile of money, but that ain't it. It's just like I got my hands on a lot of stuff that has to be tended to at all times. Right. So some people just do it for the look to say they got it. I don't I don't do that. You know, like well, what I be dealing with, I have people working on it. I'm like, hey man, I need you to hurry up. I don't need this stuff just to say I own this or I got this or whatever. I'm trying to make some money, dog, so I can get on to the next thing I'm trying to do, you know? And yeah. and that, that that really takes me to, like, all them dudes we was talking about uh, yesterday who was running these neighborhoods and different stuff. What you think, um, what you think they doing now? Like, I, I know some good. I even ran in. I even ran into one of them, right? And he was doing great. He probably, that dude, out, I, I don't want to say people's names, but that dude out of 57th and Woods, I mean 56th and Woods, who was on Justine too, where they told us to get off his block. I ran into him with Delhi, because Delhi know him on the, on the music business side and other businesses. And I just couldn't believe that this man was doing this good. I'm talking about indoor pool, movie theater, the, the tennis courts, basketball courts. And then it makes it so bad, it wasn't even that far from my crib. I'm just like, I'm thinking I'm doing something. I didn't even know that they got houses like this out here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wow, this dude, this dude really made it. And I'm just like, man. So, you get a few though. But but what what have you uh have you came up on anybody who uh who from from the gang, and you seeing them now? Like, what are they doing? Well, 
I don't see too many people now. <clears throat> everybody, everybody who had or was doing something back in the days, uh, seriously, that I've known, that I've know, that I know now. Right. I mean, I guess they all doing good. I see them on social media. I'm not. I'm not around. Like I'm. You know what I'm saying. I'm not okay. around them. Right. But it don't look like they doing too bad. You know. What I'm Right. Yeah, I don't. I know, don't they I still don't, keeping themselves presentable, so you know, I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I done seen a, I done seen a lot of heavies make it, but it's like, this is what I'm wondering, cause like this, how I get up and, and hustle every day. What's your, what's their retirement plan? Cause it's like you don't have a pension coming in. If all you did is sold drugs or hustled your whole life, it's like, what happens once you, once you get uh, I don't know, fifty-five years old, which which right. really ain't that old. It, it might seem like it to some, but yeah. I got dudes hanging with me that's that age right now. Yeah. It's like, what what do you do then? Well, uh, Once any smart, any see what age come maturity, man. And once you get old, I mean, you still have a few guys that's older that still has the mentality of somebody who's like 15 years younger. But with age come maturity, anytime you, you know what I'm saying, you up there in age like that, you're gonna move different. So, if you involved in the game, you're going to do it in a different fashion from how you used to do it. Now, you might not make as much money doing it in this different fashion because right. when you used to do it, you was putting yourself on front street. You don't want to do that now. But it's like, bro, this internet is giving people opportunities to make a lot of money. Instagram, all that. Feel what I'm I saying? Agree. Uh, so the, I mean, ain't no such thing as wasted talent. Like we had a lot of wasted talent in the hood, but ain't no right. such thing as wasted talent now because you have the opportunity to, you know, publicize your talent if yeah. you got talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just with this internet, so. A lot of these kids out here ain't even hustling. Right. They ain't selling no dope. They probably selling weed. But a lot of these kids ain't even hustling, bro. Man, nowadays, like, do you really even have to do illegal stuff to make some money? Like you said, with the internet, the way technology is, you got this Uber, you got Uber, Instacart, and all this, like, do you really even have to do that? You know, like, it's jobs now. Like when we was yeah. coming up, I don't, I didn't, I didn't see jobs like how it is now. The, the the crazy thing about it is, is jobs that people could work from their own homes. Right. From their own saying? homes. Right. From their own homes. Yeah. So. Those type of opportunities were there for us back in the days. We only had drugs. Right. Either get a job or drug. We were so stuck and stupid, we felt like they weren't going to hang on high. We weren't going to work. That was it. But, man, I ain't finna go in there. They ain't going to hire me. First thing somebody say. But, at the, like, bro, in the hood, back when I was growing up, having, you could be. You could live in a house with your family, your your mom, your you know everybody. Right. And just say my oldest brother starts selling dope for some dudes. He starts selling dope for some right. uh, 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 um, you know, for some dudes in the hood. Right. He coming home fresh, and it was almost like it was accepted. It was accepted. My mama didn't get on him. Right. 
She ain't get on him about that. He bringing money in the grill. Money that she probably ain't never seen before in her life. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was loving it. <laughs> I was loving it because you know he was my size anyway, even though wow. he got me back some years. You know, by him being my size, I was I was going to school fresh every day. Right. Every day. Yeah. Diff Mitch Mac Jordans. I'm just doing the most. Yeah, I noticed. You know what I'm saying? I noticed. But well, you know, you can get people to tell it all on these podcasts. Well, I'll tell you. Uh -huh. I, I wonder. Yeah. I, I I knew you was. I uh, had a little extra hustle going. On. <laughs> no, I wasn't over extra hustle, man. It was. Hey, I knew it was. I'm like, man. Let me tell you what he used to do. A nice starter jacket. I was I was so <laughs> infatuated with shoes. Right. He'd take me to his house, and a, it'd be a line around the wall. All right. Jordans, Nikes, and uh, uh, Nike boots, all that, mm -hmm. and he'll tell me to clean them all, and he'll give me a pair. Boom, pick, pick, tell me, pick which pair I want. Right, I pick it. Then he'll say, "In order for you to have that, you got to clean all the shoes." Boy, go get the bucket. Go get the soap. It's finna go down. I'm like 11 to 12. Right. You know what I'm saying? And don't leave none at the house. Which he used to leave shoes at the house. He, he, he knew I was going to be in them things. We both right. wore seven and a half, and he was already like 17. <laughs> so let me ask you this. It's fair to say having a big brother around is a good thing, damn. Yeah, growing up, that's that's always a good thing. Right. Growing up, you got somebody to um, uh, I, I you got somebody to look up to, and even though you know they might steer you wrong, but at the same time, they're not doing it on purpose. They love you. Feel what I'm saying? Coming mm -hmm. your aid, it always feel good when you can say, "I'm gonna go get my big brother." <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was good. And 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 it's for, for, for real, for real. Both of my brothers think they know karate. Right. Both of them. In the right. hood. Right. Everybody know them for knowing karate. Right. I don't know karate. I don't know karate. But I did used to be their little punching bag. You know. <laughs> they used to make me fight kids, make me fight my friends. Friends didn't even like coming over my house to play the game because once these ignorant mugs walk in, they're going to have me fighting them. Threatening me. See, See now you got to make me tell a story, man. <laughs> Boy, I remember you called me one day. You like, hey, man, I don't know why you think I would turn down any type of money, though. I, I'll never understand it. As long as you've been knowing me, you know, you know me almost as long as I've been living. And you call me, hey, you want to make $700? You probably ain't going to want to do it. So I'm like, what? Uh, helping somebody move. i like, you got somebody paying this much to help us move? He's like, yeah. I'm like, so what, we splitting it? He's like, no, that's how much you're getting. I think I was there for you hung up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but the funny part was <laughs> when it was time for the lady to pay us because, you know, your brother was running the lit. So your brother gave me my money. He say, tell him she didn't pay us. And I'm like, man, I don't know how you think that's funny <laughs> to tell him. <laughs> I'm like, man. I'm not finna be part of that. Uh, I'm not finna be part of this joke. He's like, no, come, we just. I'm gonna give it to him, but let's just tell him that she ain't pay us. I want to see how he react. I'm like, man, do you know your brother, man? Do you know your brother? Hey, man, my brother. <laughs> oh man, 
You that already know, bad. man. He was. <laughs> that you was know, bad. He, he, the, the pipe fitter's buddy. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the joke was more funnier telling you about the joke he was trying to do. It was more funnier you laughing like, you had to know I was going to act the fool. <laughs> man, hey, they had Africans in there and they <laughs> We, oh, man. He, oh, man. That, that that was so funny to hear. I'm like, man. man hey, the... bro. I'm talking about <laughs> damn this 70. Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> they had that money, though. Yeah, man, but man, he one of them type of motherfuckers be on investigation, discovery, and shit. They had that. Woman to boss. Yeah, he just swindled me out of all of my pension. <laughs> oh, man. So, I got to talk. About snitching, oh. man. Go ahead, man. Bring the shit up, man. That's, that, it, that's just the thing, man. Go ahead. This uh, this snitching culture is just something else, right? Uh, Little Dirk did a video and a song with some rapper in Florida named Spot 'Em Got 'Em. I don't really know uh know his music right now. But he paid Lil Durk a hundred grand to do this. So word got around that he might be telling. Who spot him got him? Spot him got him. And Lil Durk sent him his hundred grand back and said he don't want nothing to do with the project. Hey, if he got it like that. So I'm asking you. Would I do that? <laughs> yes, that's the question. Uh, on some real street shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll fuck around and do it. You know what I'm saying? I make all my business with this nigga legal than a motherfucker. But if I got it like that, I probably wouldn't fuck with him. Like, that honey grand ain't shit to me. Like, hell no, nah, nigga. But if I don't get it like that, I'm trying to come up. Yeah, I do. I, I do. Right. You know, I do the video with him. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> Motherfuckers know what it is with me, so I'm not really worried about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just like you say when you, when you get it like that, certain stuff is uh certain you know. But I just feel like. When we was coming up, you had to be everything you said you was on them records. Yeah. No, it, it ain't no doubt about it. But I don't I don't think that matter nowadays. I really don't. No. I just everybody is the internet, bro. Like these the island boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? They still trying to hold on to it. Y'all had, I mean, like, bro. These man. I don't understand. This is what rap music came to, man. That's when it came to, man. That's what it when, came to, man. When it was, you can't even recognize what gender is rapping. You can't like, even recognize what, what gender is rapping. Is that a chick? No, that's a dude. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, oh man! Oh what? Everybody's skin and bones, man. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. skinny enough to get in them jeans. Everybody's skin and bones, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you. Little bitty, little poor, little. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go to jail size. Like, please don't go to jail, bro. You, you, you know what else I feel like, too? I feel like the ghetto boys. Even like Crucial Conflict, these they was the soundtrack to what the dudes on the street was living, as far as I felt like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, to me, it was like they was the soundtrack to everything that was going on out in the street. So with some of this new stuff, 
that's the soundtrack to these dudes' life. That's the image. Oh, nah, bro. See, it's more cap nowadays. Right. It's a lot of capping. That's why the right. word that word is being used a lot. Because right. that's what's going on. Okay. It's a whole lot of capping nowadays. I'm gonna just put, give you six nine for him. This dude is literally staging videos. Right. Staging videos. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Or the thing he did when he pulled up on O Block with the <laughs> at, at four, four in the morning. Thirty. Yeah, four forty-five. When you everybody out. I'll draw it down. It's 10 30 at night. Where y'all at? Yeah, uh, you get birds chirping. The internet is hard, boy. They said, listen, you can hear a bird chirping if you, <laughs> if you listen. <laughs> the internet is hard, boy. You, know you sure saying? can hear the bird chirping. And I bet he was he was still tweaking like for real, for real, bro. You couldn't even pay, he couldn't even pay me to do that with him. Like, I'd have been trying to talk him out of that. Like, hey, little bro. That's stupid. I know. Um, like you say, man, it's man a money thing. Like I remember, not too long ago, it was a rapper that came to Chicago, and we had a some business dealings. And um, at first, he didn't want to like keep up his end of the bargain or whatever. So. He got some he got some dudes with him. This um from Chicago. So I'm like, hey man, do you understand that once this dude leaves, I don't know if he even paying y'all right now. He probably ain't paid y'all nothing because I've been doing this my whole life. But do you understand once he go home, you still here in Chicago with nothing? He can't afford to take care of you if uh this switch get if if the heat get turned up like you really want to go to war over this rapper and they have to think about it so the rapper comes to his senses and do what he's supposed to do but it's just like they really be thinking these rappers is is something because of the cap like you said they really got them thinking they got this endless supply of money. And they gonna share it or put them on, and it, it just don't go that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. They, it, it's it's just a lot of cap, a lot of lot of capping going on. And like for real, this 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 new era of rap music now is drowning out R and B music. Now, I ain't gonna say I'm the toughest, you right. know what I'm saying, S O B in the world, but even during my gang banging days, I was bumping. Certain R and B songs, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm talking about? I still listen to R and B, especially when you get around a female. You know what I'm saying? You don't want me oh, yeah. to talk. You. That, that's the. That's the thing. It's, it's crazy now, bro. Well, the you females, the females don't care about no R and B. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. They want to listen to some broad insulting, put men down all day. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they want to do. Is listen, listen to she. Yeah, it could be R and B, but not no love song. They want to listen to a female put men down all day, all day long. It's like, what? What have we? Uh, what have we came to? Whatever it all came to, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you this because I want to know. I want to know. I want to get the people something interesting, right? Because anybody who know you by now have established that you are hardcore OG, right? But this is what I want to know. Is you ready for this? When did you get your first girlfriend? <laughs> I was about six. No, I, I'm talking about a serious relationship. Like, hey, I might want to marry her. I don't know, man. <laughs> how, old know. Were you, how old were you, though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I was probably about 17. About 17? Just average. Average. Right. 
Okay, yeah. The average person. Yeah. I, I just... I just wanted to know, man, because you know, you was always so hard for a street. I just wondered. Uh, no, nah, everybody got a support. Like, look, you could be street, you could be kicking, I'm talking about, you could be kicking butt all day. Right. You could be even shooting it. You, I'm talking about, you could even be letting that thing go all day. Right. Lay down at night. You feel a little different. When you lay in that bed at night, you feel a little <laughs> different, man. Feel what I'm saying? So everybody got that soft side to it. Tupac called it thug passion. Thug passion. Hey, what you think about dudes? You ever seen a dude, right, who be a stone cold gangster in the street, but his bride be checking him? I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. Yeah. But he never, that a, a person like that was never in my immediate circle because we right. don't clown. Like, yeah. bro, we were so stupid. Like, now that I'm thinking back on it, we were so caught up in that. I don't, I don't, we don't love them hoes. And all, you know what I'm saying? Right. If we caught you tongue kissing, like we 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 walking down the street about five six deep, right. and we walk up and we catch you just slapping tongue in somebody's mouth. We finna roll right. you like man, oh man, you kissing that motherfucker, man, man, like man, man, hey man, G man, don't pass that nigga, man. You can't smoke, man. Hell no, nah, this nigga smoke. We, but I know niggas that was advocating that to the fullest, but was getting down behind closed doors. You know and what? I'm talking about the, you know what? You know what? It, it's 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 interesting that you say that, and I got something that always mind boggles me, and it mind boggles me to this day, right? I'm I'm trying to see it a way to say this so I don't offend nobody's ears, right? But the thing I've never understood is um is and you know, I, I don't smoke or drink, right? But I don't literally. This could be in a hotel room. I mean, you've probably been around a, a part of some of this sometime. That's why I'm asking, right? So I can have a broad wearing her out, right? Jaws is, I know her jaws is tired. I've been wearing her out so long, right? She go get with the guys or the rest of the crew that's everybody mingling. People passing to the blunt, they just smoking with them. So I'm like, wow. And I'm like, man, I know, I know how to kiss a couple of ladies on the cheek with my mouth. There's no way I will put my lips on something somebody else's lips have been on. So how do you weed smokers, how do y'all tune that out? Because like I say, I know I just been it have been times. That I've been, that I, <laughs> that I've been in the next room, and we all in one hangout room, and people have no problem passing the girl to marry Johuna, or whatever. <laughs> and I just be like, ah, oh, this is sick. This is sick. Hey, look though. Uh, I normally do my thing on a personal level. Not saying that I don't smoke with other people. Right. It's minimal. Because I don't be around nobody. I don't want to be around nobody. I tried that. It's not working for me. Only thing I see is jail. Too old to be doing that. But uh on a we 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 used to just talk about like bro we wouldn't let nobody like if no, answer my question. Us, man, you... Hold on, no, stop. Answer my question. And these people in the comments too. How do y'all put y'all lips on something when somebody else just had their lips on somebody else's personal property? I call it that. <laughs> you asking me that? Yeah, I say, how do y'all how Ain't do y'all no, get listen, past? Listen, it? bro, listen, listen. I don't know. 
<laughs> like I just told you. <laughs> I do most of all my smoking right. on the personal level to right. the head by myself. <laughs> I don't need no group of people around me. Hey, I'm a, I'm except I don't know is a good answer. And you probably just help the world with that if the question ever come in. Hey, I, that's that's just something I can't break down, man. <laughs> complex. Right. Right. You know what I mean? But uh, man, we almost to the end. That let's see who checked in with us. Let me see. Oh, we got bad guy Arnold in the building. We made nine. Hey, bad guy, I just saw you send me some type of publisher split, too. It came across my screen. I love you. I love you. Uh, short body say I'm stupid. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Pass the marriage on. <laughs> yeah. Smoke to the face. Yeah, everybody smoke to the face when I ask this question. Everybody smokes to the face now, Drew. I know. I know. Everybody right, hey, bro, to the face. bro. When you reach a certain age, that's what you do. Like, what you? Oh yeah, no. Now nah, I give it to you on the certain age thing. A yeah, lot of that when I be wanging them out for, cause you know now I'm only, I only got about a good strong two minutes in me anyway. But back then when I'm wanging them out, and then they smoke with everybody, I just never understood it. So yeah. Hey, but look though, if <laughs> you could take me somewhere now where there's a bunch of people, right? And they blowing. I'm talking about good gas. Right. I ain't trying to pass to me. I'm turning that down, bro. I don't, you know what I'm saying? If I didn't see it roll and I didn't roll it, right. I'm not smoking it. Yeah. So don't pass me nothing. That's better, that better be how you is nowadays, boy, because I know yeah, yeah. what they'll put in it. Oh, yeah, you're right about Pull that. Pull up on me to my hey, let me oh, 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 oh. hit this blunt with me. No, I'm good, G. I guess, um, well, with that being said, with that being said, it's been real fun and entertaining. Entertaining. You know, I love this dude, right, y'all? Because he just be so hot. That's why when I was talking to him earlier, <laughs> he the one who told me. He the one who told me. Man, I was watching people. 40 years old, out here asking people to front them, man. What's wrong with him? He can't remember what we just talked about two hours ago. I know, man. That's crazy. I remember, see, I remember, well, I remember when we was talking, and I know that's when I said it, but I can't remember what I said, man. I know, man. I'm just, man. hey, I'm not high, so I got to take that into consideration. I can't remember a lot of stuff. <laughs> but hey, y'all know what it is. If you want us to be all right, Hit the like. If you want us to survive, hit subscribe. And if you really care, hit that what? Share. Yeah. <laughs> and always had a mind frame of being a professional sucker ducker. Hey. Duck these suckers. Duck these suckers. Oh, yeah. By the way. If you really, really from the hood and you're really all good, hit us up, man. We wanna we wanna talk to you. We wanna see what you think about some certain stuff. Right. Now, if you got some dirt on your name, we're gonna hey, have fun that, with you. That money issue when you was talking about uh, who had what, the money you you, you right. brought that up, but you never got to it. Which one? About uh uh Marshfield. No, 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 no. I was just saying it made me wonder um what these guys was doing now though. Yeah. You know. Cause well, you know how you easy are, it is to run through some money. Sleep right now. You say what? I said a few of them sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. I was just wondering. You oh, okay. you answered it for me. Yeah, man, that's what it was though. That's what it was. But that's what I yeah. seen, at least. I ain't never seen that much. And I've seen all them blocks. That block right there, I ain't never seen nothing. Well, like, like I that say, I just life. wanted to 
I just love once you brought the question up, so I just wanted to add a little something to the conversation. But we'll 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 get back we, to that we, soon. We ain't gonna hold on, you know. We'll get back to that soon. I'm gonna just do this. Hey, you know what so what's the hood? Inga Wizard. Hey. And then,